Hello guys. Getting too old for this shit. So I've started the uh, demolition. Oh, sorry, fart. <laughs> Farting waders. Jesus. Um, hang on, let me go in here for a sniff. Oh, it smells like Greg's. Right, um, I got a load of rocks here, mate. I bought all of these last summer to do my temporary koi pond. That's right, my temporary koi pond. Now, my sister reckons she wants all of these. It's way too much for her. And I'm thinking to myself, this new pond's gonna cost a couple of quid. So if I can get a couple of quid back, these rocks are for sale. There is some massive, massive slabs in there. There's a lot of rocks. I would say there's a good two, two and a half, three ton of rock there. So if somebody wants to come and pick them up and give me a price, wicked, wicked, wicked. Oh, there we are, guys. Jet washed stones. <laughs> Literally have jet washed everyone because I've got fucking issues. Absolutely clean as a whistle down there. There's all the gravel. I'm going to use that for the base, actually, to mix in with the sand and the concrete to make a, a slab. And then uh, if you walk down here, that black thing there, it's a folded up, fully jet washed, fully clean um, pond liner. Oh, and I salvaged these as well from the pond. Oh, fuck it, oh, legendary. Legendary, look at the fucking pile of rocks. Those are for sale, by the way. If anybody wants those rocks, and there's some fucking lovely slabs and rocks in there, let me know, yeah? Yeah. Oh, right, okay, a little bit of digging. So that, I think, is going to be the footprint of my koi pond, you know? So I don't have to go down too, I'm going to go down deeper than that, but it doesn't have to be too deep because this mark right here is four feet. So you imagine four feet. If I was to build up four feet to here, it'd be like we're talking chest height and I've got a, I've got a glass screen to go in here so you can see the carp from this area. I think I still need to go down about 12 inches, so I'm gonna have to get rid of some soil. And this little square I've made here is gonna be, I'm gonna put a flat base on it. I'm not sure what height yet, so I can put my filtration system in there next to the koi pond so it's away, and I'll put like some nice decking on it and uh, some bonsai trees. Look, there's my bonsai trees. Yeah, yeah, should be cool. Bit more work to do though. Oh, right guys getting too old for this i'm a bit tired now so i've hacked away at the sides there trying to tidy it up i need to nip a little bit more off that corner there to actually get it two meters by three meters internal block on flat i have to go down probably about another 12 inches i reckon and um yeah <laughs> save this bit of uh gridding from the uh from the garage not a bad fucking size, is it? It's pretty much bang on. Uh -oh. And I'll have a little bit of an off cut down the side just to put into that little, little minor slab there. Fucking tidy beans. Rocks for sale. Pond update. <laughs> right. For all you cunts up there who think you're clever because you've got a degree in psychology or you're a fucking doctor or some shit. Now there's two forms of intelligence. I'm a little bit, tiny bit, dyslexic. Sometimes I piss pronunciate my worms, but check out this for cleverness. So here's my pond. If you can remember, I taken the pond liner out of that. So what was once used to keep water in <laughs> is now used to keep water out. So that's gonna keep me nice and dry. Nothing's gonna fill up with water. I can fiberglass in you, and I've made myself an undercover working paradise. By the way, I got rocks for sale. <sighs> Fucking mosquitoes. Um, so, another little thing. So, I've still got to take uh, some ground out of this. Um, I've got a bit of a problem because obviously, in lockdown now, I can't get rid of the soil. So, what I'm going to do is take it down my garden path. Now, I don't want to fuck up my grass. So I come across here and I tip it down in there. I've only got about a ton and a half. So I should fill all of this and then it's down on the bottom floor then. So then it's easy to get a, uh, a skip. Unless somebody wants some lovely soil to build anything up, you let me know, right? So you can have the soil. I've got some rocks for sale as well.
two minute rest. I am 44 after all. I'm in mint condition. Beard's going grey. Slight, slightly thinning. No, not too bad. <laughs> um, listen, serious note. I'm going to have about two ton of topsoil. If anyone can take this away, I will pay you in sterling. Um, it's biodegradable. It's natural. I don't give a fuck if you fly tip it in Castle Gardens. In fact, I'd give you extra for Castle Gardens. No, but on a serious note, environment is, uh, is, very, is very important. But like, like I said, it's soil. If anyone's got some land that they can come and pick this up with a trailer or, a, or anything, get rid of it for me. It's worth Wonga, mate. Do I look like Danny Dyer a bit? All right, geezer. Why the fuck is it always raining in Wales? Ah, so there we are. I've got a muddy hole. I've got some footings over there that I'm going to pour today. I've got a skip coming soon. I reckon I can get rid of some of these stones in those uh, in that bit of a slab I'm doing because I need to raise it up a little bit higher to get the levels for that. Otherwise, it's going to be stuck on blocks again. So um, I'll um, do the footings, put a small wall in there, and then sort of like work out where the slab's going to go then. Oh! Right guys, getting dark now. Just had a last clean up. Um, but there we are. Got my footings in for my pump house. So not major footings, mate. Only about 12 inches deep. But uh, you know, it's only going to be housing a single, um, a single skin, like little dwarf wall, basically. So yeah, phase one. And I've got uh, the drainage pipe going underneath there. <laughs> Come on, you cunts! Fucking hell, I'll have to shave this off, won't I? Look like a hobo. Right, koi pond update. Been busy. Right, we've got the bottom drain all in now. Um, I've actually got a concrete pour on the way tomorrow. So I need to get make sure this is all done. I know it's my missus' birthday, but there's priorities. Um, so this has to be done. Got rid of all that uh, soil and all the rocks here. Didn't sell them, by the way. I had to chuck them in a fucking skip. My mate uh, M.A. Jones tattoo helped me doing that. I know we're in lockdown, but we were always two metres apart. I was shoveling, he was barrowing. I'm telling you now, safety is key. Aye, a bit more pipe work to go in today. I'm waiting for some stuff in the post. And then I'll put my uh, reinforcement grid, and I want that to be ready for the pour tomorrow. Bosh. So, lovely, Mr. Postman's been. I've had an essential delivery of two inch pressure pipe 90s. So, I can complete now the bottom of the slab, and these are quite interesting for people to see. There's the drain. So, these are pretty cool. These are two inch inlets. So, basically, when the pond is all blocked up, I'm actually going to fiberglass it. Um, and what these, what these do is, these sort of like sit that side of the block like that and then um so you've got no pipes visible in the pond at all and that's where the jet of water will come out see it's all flush and it's all scrubbed up here nice and sort of keyed ready for me to fiberglass right over it like do you know what I mean but actually it's going to be stood off a little bit because i'm going to get some um like 10 mil kind of like foam insulation to go on the brickwork Oh, there we are, guys. The rush is over. So um, I got my four inch bottom drain and my air pipe, which is the small one inch uh, pipe, which comes up into the filter house. And then I've got that two inch pipe, which is one of the returns from the filter, which is going to go through the wall there and shoot water out this way when it's done. And I've got another return pipe, which is going to go behind the block work, which shoots in this side. So that drain is six inches off the ground. And this one is six inches below the surface. So there's a current all the way through the pond of the four foot depth, you know. Got the uh, rebar down uh, for the slab. And I had this one left over from the garage. So it's it actually, it, it actually, that's, the, it just fit in there perfect. Had to cut out around the drain. Um... So the slab's gonna be six inches, pretty much. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna come. So um, where the sides are, it's gonna pretty much be pr probably about nine, nine, to, nine to 10 inches down there. So it'll actually have a drop and a fall all the way to the, to the drain. So any 
fish poo and all that kind of stuff, any debris will all circulate around the pond until all of a sudden, down, blop, in with the fucking jellyfish, straight up into the filtration system, which is at the moment there. So these pipes are strategically placed, so that will fit straight on top of them. And I should get some space in the back to put the UV filter and the pump and all that kind of stuff. That little echo drain is going to go in there. But um, it was a bit pushed for time tonight to do this. But yeah, done now. So guys, the sun is out. I've just had loads of Krispy Kreme, um, like sugar and stuff in me. Nice cup of coffee. The caddy for me concrete pour. Now I've got to barrow all of this down here. I've cleared everything up and this is going to be a good workout. I'm on my own. Uh, I don't know how many tons going to go in there, but that, and I, if I've got any left over, I've shut that up just in case. So um, we can, we can get that slab done as well. So uh, slab's going to come in, bro. Slab's going to come in. Everything's over there. Fish have got no filtration at the moment, but um, they've got a nice bit of um, bubbles going on. Right guys, we're under candlelight here. Check out all the fireworks though. What a great night to be out. Even if you are a fucking army veteran. As long as you know this thing's gonna happen, it ain't too bad. Right, so here we are. Here's the slab down. I'm gonna give it another little skim, but there's a six inch fall all the way into the center of the drain there. Um, and I've just done the pump house as well into an echo drain. So it all slopes down. Uh, so, you know, if it over floods, something like that, it's all gonna go straight down the drain. But um, yeah, a bit late tonight. I've still got to set up the filtration system again for the koi. So I'm gonna be out here for another hour at least. But not my fault. The cement lorry was uh, an hour and a half late. So I'm an hour and a half late. <laughs> Shit the bed. Right guys, that's me done for tonight. Still going off. It's like fucking Kosovo, yeah? Um, so I'm really happy with that now. It's got a nice six inch um, drop going into it. You can't really see it with those boards. Got my little pump house all done. It's all going to flow into there. Which I'm all chuffed about this now. That's all done. 1.6 cubic meters of concrete in there, I believe. And I've just got my Nexus back up and running. Little last clean. I got to go and spend some time with the boy now. Might read him Guy Fawkes. Oh. Right, just about to go for a nice walk with the missus. You ready, babe? Yeah. Oh. There's no other way to keep him quiet. There's a good breastfeeding position. And today, basically, is just uh, kind of, you know, level the bottom level. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit uh, rough at the moment, but I've got to clean it off in an hour or two when that... Uh, Muck goes off a bit. Core drill that. So basically, this now will come up and come out of the wall about here. You know, so there's no um, pipes visible. So that's good. I like that bit. Uh, got my drainage in there, which has got to cut across there into the path because I'll be filling that path and leveling it. Um, yeah. But uh, it's getting there now. I've got to sort this post out tomorrow. But I just wanted to get that first layer down because uh, there's a there's a big gap down there, obviously. <laughs> right, quick update on the pond. Look at that. 500 watt fucking thing. Mate, it's amazing. It's like fucking pack of scarlets, yeah. So, a little update on the pond. Um, it's not extremely tidy because I've been doing it in between rainstorms and fucking mate. I've been trying to do this in the night in this this weather. So um, there's the koi pond so far. So um, yeah, there's the viewing window. And we've got the glass in there that I'll show you later on. Um, we've got the drain down there. And uh, yeah, so basically we've got four foot. It's exactly four foot all the way along. And this little ridge I've got here, that's the skimmer to take the surface scum out into the pump house. Um, and this, I'm gonna have little bonzo trees on here. And that's the, that's the height of it's gonna go. But it's gonna come across the side here. And we've got basically, I've got here is 
Yeah, so it's a stainless steel waterfall. So we get two feeds in, and then basically water just trickles out on there. But it's a, it's a meter wide, which will be going down this side here. So we'll have the waterfall coming in here. Um, yeah, so we're getting there. Literally, I am doing it in the fucking night times. There's the pump house, you can't even see. Do you know what, right? I don't think I've ever done an attack in the Paris in the fucking daytime, so I probably work better at night. Um, yeah, fucking sniper and I you can see in all weather. Whatever. Anyway, there's a little update for you. I think it's cool. Nice. <sighs> right. Pond update. Darkness hours again. It's not progressed loads, but it's quite a bit. So here we are. This is the pond so far. We're getting there. Mix is going again. Clearly mean one thing. Koi pond update. So like I said, the mix is going. Um, I finished all the block work. Um, I just finished these two corners. These are roughly uh, 45 degreed. That is pretty much ready for insulation and fibre glass. But what I'm working on now is, later on, I'm going to dig this square area of turf out because I'm going to put a patio here so I don't churn up the grass every time I'm going into the pump house. And I'm working on the correct level for that to sit there because the top of the water level in there needs to be the same as the top of the water level here which is approximately i don't know kind of here on this side of the wall so yeah fucking lovely and it all the way around all the way around i uh, got my levels in there that's for the filter yeah, just need to leave that go off and then uh, go over it with the float. Now, I'm not an expert at this, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Tidy. It's, it went off overnight, so it's a, it's a little bit too hard. I'm sort of like reactivating it a little bit, but it is what it is. You can only fuck with the cock you got. Oh, so, uh, yeah, going to work around to this section now. That needs a good rendering, obviously, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Not going to do too much today. I'm going to spend the day with the boy and the woman. Mostly the boy. Guys, I've just noticed something. I've got a shy whip it. So I've driven in around here. I've worked myself into the pump house. And she thinks I've made her a fucking toilet. She literally thinks she's got an outdoor toilet. Look, bless her. <laughs> right, that's enough for today. So I've rendered all of the pond. Bearing in mind, it's the first time I've rendered and I've only learnt off YouTube, so don't slag me off too bad. Subscribe and leave comments in the bar above, whatever they say. Um, yeah, I've given that a bit of a clean out in there. Yeah, fucking happy days, boys. Um, yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. That's an abortion in there, don't worry about that, that's going to be covered. Um, this area, this square area here is going to be patted. I'm going to go and buy some slabs today for that. Measure it up. And then I'm going to go and get the coping stones for the top of this today. Go for a spin to Wix. Me boo. Uh, yeah. Next big job is fiberglassing, guys. Shitting myself about that one because I've never done it before. What's the worst that can fucking happen? A leak, is it? Tiny update in the pond. Rendering's looking okay. And look. I've got the coping stones for the top. Lovely grey Indian slate coping stones. So I've got plenty more down there. And the other I've got is a, of course they're broken, but I got those to sort of go up on the top there. I'm not sure about these yet, we'll have to see. And um, I've got a Christmas tree, and I'm gonna make it into a bonsai. I know you think I'm mad, but you just wait. There's, I'm going to let the inner Miyagi san out of me. So that I'm going to make into a bonsai tree and it's going to go the other side of this pond when it's all finished. Yeah. Fucking cracking, isn't it? <laughs> pond update. Has anybody ever seen E.T.? You know where Elliot gets Corona? Check out this. Elliot! Elliot! So I just bought a big tarp. 
and I basically made a fucking tent over it. Now then, that's gonna keep it warm and dry for me to fiberglass. Elliot! Fucking bum! Bob's your fucking uncle! I'll have two nons and a grandpa, please, with me tack doll. Check out that, boys. Look at that! You fucking joking? Looks like Ponty Diller's garden centre, you cunts. So... Fuck me, boys, I'm dead chuffed for this. Look. That's fucking class. Might camp out here tonight. Right, the family is up in Brecon, and we pal? Yeah? Hi, Mum. Mum came too. And we're up in Brecon, we're gonna go and look at the snow, aren't we? But we're going the back way. Oh, look at this, Wolf, this is scary. Look at those trees, pal. It's like fucking Mordor. It's like Mordor. Oh no, they've bought a cave troll. What an amazing place. What an amazing place. And guess what? She's breastfeeding. <laughs> like a Stone Age woman with makeup on. Show us your tit. Show us your tit. Show us your tit. You happy, boo? Can I have some milk, mum? Let's suck on that mammary gland. Oh, look at him getting that protein in there. Oh, it's a protein drink, Dad. Loving it. I love mum's tit. She's like a mountain goat. 